I'm adopted. You know, so I don't know my my biological parents or anything like that. So uh, during COVID 2020, I ended up doing the uh, 23 and Me uh, situation. So I ended up finding out who my biological mother was. You know, so you know, I I thought about her all my life. Like, you know, who is she? Do I look like her? You know, things like that. Is she dead? You know, so I just never knew that that type of information. Uh, when I fill out medical forms and things like that, you know, I don't know my family history or, or what runs in my family, things like that. So I always got to put in a. Uh, yeah. So during COVID, you know, I ended up finding her. You know, so I was super excited, elated. You know, so we we had a conversation, and then after that conversation, she just ghosted me. You know what I'm saying? Like they didn't want anything to do with me, you know. So uh-huh. that kind of so that kind of put me into a a down period, you know. I don't want to say depression, but it was probably a little slight depression of, you know, damn, you know, like why would I'm your firstborn, you know, why wouldn't you want to have anything to do with me? You know, so finally I dug myself out of that hole, you know, but you know, I held on to that for a long time, you know. So being able to fight through that and come out on the other side okay, you know, I had good support systems in place to help me with that. You know, so that personal adversity right there was something big for me that I was able to overcome too. Yeah, man, that's probably something that you, you know, you went through all your life, right? Oh, yeah. That's like a self-worth, you know, ain't that like a self-worth thing probably in some time, some ages? Oh, yeah, you definitely have uh, feelings of I'm not good enough, uh, feelings of rejection, you know, uh, so you have all of those uh, negative uh, mindsets and emotions running through you, you know, definitely. Yeah. yeah. But you got to talk to her once. I talked to her once and, and only once. Yeah. How was the conversation? Uh, the conversation was cool. You know, she was, uh, she ran through her life. Uh, so she was 15 when she had me. Uh, she said that, uh, she, I was a, basically a rape baby, you know, uh, you know, so her parents, you know, at the time, I believe they were, uh, they were professors and teachers, you know, so back in 1985, you know, it was, you know, kind of up and taboo to have, you know, your 15 year old daughter, you know, pregnant. So they put me up for adoption, you know, so, uh, but to this day, uh, thank, thank God, you know, I got two, two loving parents, you know, who adopted me, uh, at age, uh, I was like one month, you know, and they've been my moms and pops, you know, since then, you know, so, you know, shout out to my moms and pops for, you know, stepping up and taking me in, you know, but, you know, it still doesn't erase, you know, the feelings I have of, you know, my biological mother, you know, and then her, you basically just sh- on me when I met, you know, uh, you know, so yeah, you know, it's, it's the kind of f- up, but, you know, I come out on the other side. Okay. Yeah, man. And it's mm-hmm. one of them, you know, it's one of them things too, where it's like birthed out of trauma, you know, yeah. and when you, whenever you talk to her, um, all those thoughts probably came back up. Oh, yeah. It all came back up. You know, and I kind of was looking at her to kind of save me a little bit from those feelings, you know, but so when it didn't happen the way I thought it was going to happen, you know, it, it kind of me up a little bit for, for, for a while. I can't lie about that. But again, like I said, I had all those support systems in place. So, you know, yeah. thank, thank God for them for sure. They probably fucked her up too, man. Oh, probably. Yeah, you know, definitely. Especially if, you know, if it happened the way she said it happened. And she probably was like, man. Yeah, definitely. That probably was a lot, bro. Yeah. 